the, the starting point is that the government is saying one thing in the command paper, that it wants to legislate only for limited exceptions, but actually is doing something completely different and proposing something different in when you actually analyze the law. When you actually analyze the draft legislation that is annexed to the command paper, it in effect is almost word for word proposing the UK law on abortion, which is completely different to what it is saying. So it is a massive misrepresentation of, to Parliament and of the people of Gibraltar. We think that is disgraceful. We think there has to be a, a, a clear and honest debate, a, a good debate on this issue, this very difficult issue, and, and the command paper says one thing, but then proposes something different. So you call this dishonest, basically you're saying uh, the command paper proposes one thing, the legislation proposes another. You're also saying it's rammed through, but realistically this is a command paper, which is an invitation for the different uh, voices to be heard um, and debate this. Well, we think there should be a proper debate, but a proper debate has to be done on the basis of honest consultation. In other words, I'm, I'm proposing to legislate for limited exceptions and you would expect to see a law proposing a carefully drafted, narrow, limited exceptions. If that was so, then the GSD parliamentary team would support something that modernizes the law to make it constitutionally compliant to deal with the exceptions that the UK Supreme Court highlighted, which are that the, that the law should reflect the ability to do so in cases of rape, incest, and fatal fetal abnormality. In fact, this is not what the government are proposing. In the draft legislation, they are proposing a UK style uh, law on abortion, which in effect has become, and everybody knows, has become abortion on demand in the United Kingdom, where 98% of the abortions in the UK are done under this general, uh, more liberal law, uh, and 90% uh, of the abortions take place under 13 weeks. So in effect, when you're talking about a threshold of 14, 12 or 10 weeks, the government is proposing to deliver almost the same law as in England. You call the government command paper a politically dishonest presentation of its proposal. This might surprise many. The GSD back in September did say the party would meet and come up with a party policy on, on this issue. The GSD is yet to announce its position. No, but that is our position. You see, our position is if this was a narrowly drafted law to deal only with the limited exceptions that the UK Supreme Court identified, rape, incest, fatal fetal abnormality, we would support it. But this is not what this draft legislation is about. This is a complex matter where there are different views around the GSD party executive table. The consensus uh, would not be to go beyond the limited exceptions, but we consider that this is an issue which is important enough for the society of Gibraltar to speak and to do so in a referendum. This is quite a divisive subject, perhaps one that the government and opposition should work together on for the better of Gibraltar? Well, you know, we, it's up to the government to reach out to the opposition to work together on issues that it is, it is planning. We've offered that on Brexit and we would have no difficulty if the government were to reach out to us to discuss issues like this with, with them.